This is our first day training at the workshop. And Ad, this is the first time he uses the microscope. He already got the hang of it. And he soldered one 402 component, and this one is the second one. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I, see, I see a lot of precision based on the first time you solder or you work on this microscope. I do not want to make you nervous, but just do what you're doing. If you grab the component oh, like this, yeah. rather than point over it, yeah. you can start pointing over it later on. But for now, learn to grab it from the sides. The whole tip, not just the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Snap it. You can do it upwards or downwards. You may need more solder. Mm -hmm. So you can cover the component and the pad. First time Ed is doing this. Amazing. And your fume extractor is off. Yeah. You need to put it on. So just get into the habit. I know it's a lot to focus on. And here we have Angel. Your hands are steady. We covered a lot today. We spoke about soldering stations, why there are cheap ones, expensive ones, the differences. We spoke about the differences between using a stereo microscope like Angel is using and our optical digital microscope. We spoke about tip sizes, heat transfer, fume extractors, types of solder, leaded, unleaded, low melt. We covered a lot. And we want to see how Angel is going to do with this QFN chip. Solder liquefied, I can tell by the middle pad. Very gentle. Just try to center it as much as possible and let go. Do not go up and down, left or right. You do not want to knock off the side components, the neighboring components. So now what you want to do is apply hot air. We want to use surface tension. We want that chip to align itself. So use hot air and tap it a bit from the right. Very good. Flux is your friend. I always mention. Very nice. Very nice. Let it cool down. And now you want to press in the center and apply hot air again. We want to make sure those pads under the chip are making a connection with the pads on the board. Do not move the tweezer. Let go of the hot air once solder liquefies and keep the tweezer on the chip for a few seconds. We want to make sure that solder cooled down and hardened. Keep holding the tweezer, remove hot air. You did an awesome job. Just get rid of the solder blob that we have on the left. That's the camera that Angel has plugged into his microscope. It's a bit blurry, but I can see what's going on. Yeah, mine is a bit blurry. Can you adjust it? Yeah. Better or worse. That's Angel's microscope. He got his own microscope so he can practice on it. Because here we use the Northridge Fix microscope. Yeah, it's still blurry. Here, you want to see it? Ah, there we go. Okay, good. Much better. That's ours, our microscope right here. And that's Angel's. Angel is not using the LCD, but he's using the stereo microscope. So he's able to see everything clear. Let's check on Ed and see what's going on. 
at is soldering a P-13 chip. We are working on real life scenarios where we would change a P-13 chip on a Nintendo Switch, working with big QFN chips. You see the area is tight, right? Very nice, very nice. You got rid of the bridge, awesome. Is there a thing is Well, you need to figure it out. Rotate the board, use a combination of the anti-glare and ring light so you can make light work for you. No bridges, no bridges. very clean. Ed, that's better than factory, man. <laughs> that looks awesome. Thanks to you. <laughs> that looks awesome. That looks amazing. I mean, everything that we learned, you applied, and you were able to solder a QFN chip in between all those components. That's amazing. Let's check on Ed again. I don't like you here. Ed, uh, did you already reflow yes, that sir. chip? And did you push down on the chip and apply hot air? Yeah. Solder balls squeezed out? Yeah, I just... Just, look, uh, I do not see any bridges. The pins, they look really good. Just look at this. Now I'm going to have to fix this. Which one? You see this? The mess, yes. The mess. Now this was here from the beginning, I told you about, but we wanted to worry about soldering the chip. Any burns to that plastic connector? No, I actually took it out fast. Let me see. So you took out that chip without affecting that plastic connector? Uh -huh using a smaller nozzle and the temperature you have 400 degrees at what what airspeed i think at 70. okay good now you're gonna apply flux you're gonna mm -hmm. apply solder watch out for the neighboring components mm -hmm. yeah, and again when you solder the chip you want to point air away from the plastic uh -huh. which is covered which you currently have covered uh -huh. let's see how angel is doing yeah, just a tiny blob in the center. You do not need to fill that whole pad. Now, the same way that you desoldered that chip, use the same technique, heat away from the plastic. It's always advisable to cover that plastic with a penny, with a dime, with a nickel, whatever. But Angel is a master. No covering. He's using a very narrow nozzle. Watch out for that plastic, yeah. Center it as much as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to reflow later. Good, it's making a connection. Add some flux and reflow. That plastic is intact. You need to push it from the right side a bit. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now what you need to do is add some flux, push down on the chip, apply hot air again, and you're done. Any solder that squeezes out, you just remove. And look at that plastic. Okay, so you applied a lot of solder in the middle. Yeah. Okay, we only need one tiny blob of solder. Now what's gonna happen is when you solder the chip, a lot of solder are gonna squeeze out and they may bridge the components around that chip. Wait. Okay, go for it. Try to keep your hands steady. Good, let go, let go. 
Okay, now you want to reflow. Add some flux. And when you reflow, you can tap it a bit from the top. And always before adding flux or before doing anything, you want to make sure that solder cooled down, hardened. Yeah, push down. Wait. You see, because you had a lot of solder in the center, they squeezed out. Yeah. Very nice. That looks amazing. Awesome.